Hello Pisces and welcome to Drake Tarot. My name is Becky and I'm here to do your reading for July 2020. Time is fluid so you can watch this in October and it may resonate more depending on where you are in your personal timeline. This is going to be a general reading which could involve love, family, money and career or any worries you have at the moment. As this is a collective read, not all will resonate. If this is the case, ask for a personal read to help you further. Also check your moon, your rising or Venus sign to check to see if you can have more clarity there. Please, please like, subscribe, comment and share if you enjoyed this reading to help me expand my new skills to a wider audience. So now let's get on with your reading. Um, to start off with, I'm going to do The Good Tarot by Colette Baron reed and then we'll go on to the Mythic Tarot deck to clarify and then we'll get one of these wonderful mystical shaman oracles um, but again by Alberto Vivaldo <laughs> Vil Vil that one and Colette Baron reed and Marcelo Lobos. So let's start with The Good Tarot. This is for Pisces for July 2020. Pisces, July 2020. Hmm. Okay. Thank you, Pisces. You were the most watched for, uh, I think it was the June love reading. So thank you so much for that. Okay. Okay, Pisces. So, what I've got in the center of your reading is the Ace of Fire upside down. So something has been delayed. It's almost like um, you could have had a rejection of some sort from somewhere. I'll find out more in a bit. Okay, so your obstacle to this was a message of love. So how is there a delay if there was no message? How can anything be rejected if there is no message to reject? Pisces, at the moment, you are the ace of air. You've had clarity on this situation. You've kind of realised this little dilemma you've had. So this is a thought process, something where you can't reject, you can't go for it, you can't do anything unless you've had the offer. <laughs> basic common sense so you've had clarity about this because of maybe yes um, again you've got it here it's the hermit in the past you've had hermit energy hermit is all about looking within spending time alone you've chosen to to use this time to say right I've got to think things through what am I doing what do I want what do I want what do you want Pisces and what you would like, hmm. Sorry. It's to be vulnerable. You want to be vulnerable. You've put a defense mechanism up and your higher self would like to just 
relax and just take it in and listen. But you have got this shell over you, which is making you not accept any offer. Nobody wants to because it's a case of you are stuck in your, your shell. Okay, so with the five of fire, you would like to, in the future, to stop, stop this feeling of um, having to, you, you're not accepting the message. You're not making yourself vulnerable for this message. So this is to do with how you're coming forward as a person. You've had clarity about this. Maybe of a past hurt has brought on the hermit mode. And because of this, you've brought a barrier up, which makes you unobtainable to get to from the person that you would like to come towards you. Knight of air, messenger of air, has come up reversed as your advice. So slow down, Pisces, slow down. Don't think, I finished that, I've got to do the next thing. Take your time, okay? And if it comes, if it's to do with this situation, you've got to literally listen and stop, ask a question. Let them ask a question. It's about slowing down. People see you um, as looking in the past. You're kind of looking at the past going, oh, I remember this, I remember that. Oh, wasn't it good when that happened? Wasn't it great when that happened? Um, and you're missing something from the past. It may be that um, this is how other people see you is because you're not coming out of this hermit energy. Maybe it's time. Come out of the hermit energy, stop putting your barriers up, start communicating, start talking, start... Um, socializing Pisces which is funny because uh, we haven't really had much chances to socialize face to face anyway and then with the five of earth you've got as your hopes and fears oh and you don't want to be left out in the cold of course you don't um you you kind of hope to keep your space around you um you hopefully of course you don't want to lose um the connection you don't want to lose what you had so that's your fear and when you have the nine of water oh wow brilliant so the conclusion to this is you surrendering break the barrier stop slow down talk to the person you want to talk to and maybe that offer will come towards you, but you've got to make sure you are complete within yourself, whole within yourself. Don't be scattered Pisces. I know we all do this. Um, just stay centered and concentrate on what's in front of you. OK. And listen and respond to how you want to respond, not to how you think you should or don't go in panic mode. Don't run away like a little mouse. OK. Oh, Pisces. Let's get some clarifiers out. This doesn't have to be a romantic connection. This could be someone that um, maybe you fell out in the past. This is about... Um, any connection that you feel nervous about. This is um, something you think is uh, important, an important connection. So any clarifiers for Pisces July reading?
Pisces, July 2020. you guys out past energy is strength um so in the past you've had to be strong you've been on your own and you've had to be strong okay you've needed courage to get through what you've had to get through in the past um now what we're talking about here is your feeling of not being able to move on to a passionate new start due to the fact you hadn't had a message of love. Now this, passion, this um, passionate new start involved a celebration, a get together with friends. This was about, this uh, could have been the fact because we haven't been able to get together and celebrate with friends. So uh, this is... Um, yeah, this is about party. A party. <laughs> Can be. Uh, it doesn't have to be. And then, yeah. There needed to be fairness in the situation when it came to this message of love. It's almost as if um, maybe there was a clash of who should say it, when they should say it. Who's going to say the... Um, I love yous, who's going to say the I'm sorry's, okay, there is a need of, there wasn't a fairness, there wasn't balance, but now I think with this message coming forward, there's going to be balance with you. Um, hmm. At the moment, uh, you're not moving on. You don't want to move on. So you've had clarity about the fact that you're, you're pretty stable where you are for the time being. Yeah, and then you have the High Priestess in reverse. Um, hmm... I think you want a secret to come out, Pisces. Something that you've had inside that you want to come out. So because this is reversed, you have quite a few reversed cards, cards here. And it could be a sign of um, you're not in your element at the moment. The High Priestess is the Pisces card. So higher self would like to feel intuitive, to know what to do next. But I don't think you feel like that at the moment. And then you have the Nine of Cups in reverse as your future energy. So this is um, something that could happen depending on how what happens in this situation, where this message of love comes and how you deal with it. So don't... Um, it's kind of an advice card and a future card of saying um, don't make it a challenge, don't make it rivalry, just make it surrender, sort of surrender to what's coming towards you, accept it, um, don't fight it. And then when you have the Nine of Cups in reverse, this is all about um, not feeling emotionally content. So... <sighs> It could be that there was just too much dissatisfaction, that you didn't get satisfaction from this information or uh, you haven't, because you haven't had this information, there's a feeling of dissatisfaction. You've got the moon in your advice card is... Basically saying, this is also your card, Pisces, 
the moon card, also cancer, cancer energy. It's the moon has several faces. This card is saying to me, you don't know which is the true face. Is this person this person? Does this person feel this way? You're not too sure which one to believe. Because it could be that this person is putting up so many different faces that you are confused about which one is real and which one is true to their feelings. It's causing you confusion. So trust your intuition, I think, is the key here. You wanted to trust your intuition in the past, but it, it didn't lead you anywhere because there was no communication. You still didn't have any um, clarification about what was the real, the real true face you were talking to. But I feel as though you just need to keep that faith in mind. Something is hidden, yes, but and, uh, the moon is eclipsing the sun on this card, but it doesn't last, it moves on and things will come clearer. It's just a very long eclipse. <laughs> People see you as staying put, you're not going anywhere, you don't want to go anywhere. It could be the fact that you just want to, for the moment, stay grounded so they see you making um, a castle where you are instead of moving and traveling on you are staying put you're staying where you are and uh, because of that you're you're also looking at the past when things were maybe happier Then we have the Five of Earth and the Magician. Oh, you have the Magician. You hope to be the Magician. You just wish you could make, click your fingers and all would be um, as you want it to be. Or you have all your, um, your items that you need to make what you want. It's just putting them together. So you hope and fear this because if you say something to the other person, and the result is not what you wanted, then there's a fear in that, isn't there? Because you made something happen, but what's the consequences of that action? So it's a hope to do this because then things start getting moving, but it's also a fear. Then you have the Knight of Cups in reverse. Right, okay. <laughs> so the outcome of this with the Nine of Water is, is that you're going to be emotionally... Um, satisfied your wishes are going to come true with the nine of water as well but i feel as if there's unrealistic romantic hopes in the situation that doesn't necessarily mean that it is unrealistic to hope it's just maybe the amount of hope the, the, the scenario you have in your head is just too much in this present time. Okay, so maybe it's a case of be happy with what you are without this offer. Be who you are without. Be content with this. But surrender. Relax. Open. Um, slow down, Pisces. Don't be, I know it's difficult uh, to, you, we all can be very scattered. So it's a case of just listen to the person, take in what they're saying and reply how you want to reply without having fear. Have strength, have courage. Okay. Well, it's turned into a love reading, hasn't it? <laughs> If it is, it could, like I said, it could be due to the fact that, oh, one minute, the sound's gone. Just doing, just doing. 
Right, so this is the Mystical Shaman Oracle deck and I love this because it gives really, really good advice on what to do. So we need a card for Pisces for July 2020. You might get sneaky too, who knows, we'll see. For Pisces, oh no, Pisces 2020. I'm going to go for that one. Oh, the ghost dance. So I'm going to read from the book. Um, number 22, Choices. The Essence, the ghost dance of the American Plains Indian. Indians united the spirits of the living with those of the... Oh, sorry, I'll just pick up the card. There we go. With those of the ancestors to bring peace to the world. When the ancestors... Oh, are honoured, they bring harmony to us. When we hold them responsible for all that is wrong with us today, they haunt us. Honour the spirits of the ancestors and receive their lessons and gifts. This includes honouring your own past lives. The ancestors have a message of healing and a powerful medicine to offer you. Create a sacred moment at your altar. Light a candle to them and let their wisdom infuse you. At this stage in your life, you are done repeating their tragic stories. Step into the abundance that is offered to you. Receive the gifts of those that have come before you and write a new story for your life. If you are trapped in a vicious cycle of nostalgia, mourning and lost youth or opportunities missed, it is time to make an altar for the ancestors. Collect a few photos, light some incense, Offer sage and open the windows of your house to release them to their destiny and to the wind. Be wary of being snared into a relationship with someone from a past lifetime, as the people we loved or hurt have a way of reappearing in our lives. There's no learning for you there anymore. Okay, Pisces, love and light to you. Please like, subscribe, share, um, all the rest. And uh, hopefully see you for August. Take care. Bye.